Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on our FTP downloader. So now what we need to do is since we've already made it to where it will show um, the files in the directory of our server let's go ahead and allow the user to download one of the files. So we'll go ahead and access the download click event and let's go ahead and show a message box to make sure they really want to download the file so we'll type if message box dot show and I'll say um, are you sure you want to download and we'll just go ahead and add the file so we'll go ahead and do list FTP files dot selected item. So this will give us the name of the selected item. And for the title, let's just go ahead and say confirm. And then we'll do message box buttons dot OK and cancel. So they can press OK or cancel the download and for the icon we'll just do message box icons dot and let's do a question okay so if this message box is equal to so if it equals dialog result dot okay then what do we want to do so message box is a dialog um, you should know this already because when you show a message box, the user can't do anything outside of that message box until they click a button inside of it or close out of it. So we're going to show the message box, and if the result is OK, then what do we want to do? We'll use FTP Downloader. So FTP Downloader, and now we're going to download file. So we will just download, and now this is going to take some arguments. Now the first argument is going to be the source file name. So what we can do is just use list FTP files dot selected item dot and then um, just convert it to a string. No, nope, we don't need to do that because that's already a string. And then for the local file name, let's just go ahead and download it to the downloads folder because that is the default for um, browsers and any other um, program you're going to use. Now you could also incorporate a um, save file dialog but for now let's just save it in the downloads. So the lo local file name is going to be my dot computer dot file system dot get directories and let's see here we're going to have to get special folders so special directories and what we want to access is downloads let's see here hmm looks like there isn't a downloads in here so we'll just use my documents so it's my .computer .file system .special directories my documents and now we're going to have to have a name for that file. So when you go to access a file in your computer, uh, let's say I go to uh, computer here, you can see that it has computer, and if I go to C, it's C colon backslash. Now backslash separates um, folders and files. So we're going to do my documents backslash, and then we will add list FTP files dot selected item now you can see here um, that we have my documents and then the name of the file now we have uh, another argument that's going to take and it's permit override so if you set this equal to true it'll overwrite that file if it already exists now this comes default as false so let's just leave it as false so let's go ahead and run this and hopefully everything will work. 
So we'll go ahead and go to our home directory and let's download jackal.txt. Go ahead and click download and it says, are you sure you want to download jackal.txt? We'll go ahead and click OK and it will download the file for us. And it looks like, um, yes, we did not set overwrite equal to true and since the file already exists, it will not um, overwrite it. So all we have to do is put true right there and let's move this arrow up to the top so it will show the message box again and we'll run this. It says, are you sure, are you, sure you want to download jackal.txt? Go ahead and click OK and we'll come to my documents and let's scroll down here. Where is it? Ah, here it is. Let me just make this a little bit smaller. So here is our jackal.txt file that we just downloaded. So we can go ahead and minimize all that and let's download uh, YouTube copy to dot text. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And it should download that to my documents. Now let's see if it's in here. And here it is right there. YouTube copy to. So go ahead and put in the code that will let files be downloaded. And then once you do that, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.